Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an incredible day. Now today guys, I'm in the polytunnel and I'm happy to say I have my little tiny Aeonium Lindleyi re-blooming itself again. And um, this is one of the miniature Aeoniums, as you can see, beautiful little rosettes here. We have a few Aeoniums in our collection, a few jotted around the place. We have this beautiful variegated one here. Also one of the, the, the big Aeonium squats cup, squats cup, the big purple one over there. And I'm um, happy to see this re-blooming. This has been pretty much blooming on and off all through the winter. And I did make a video on this a few, few months ago now when it was blooming. But I just can't resist sharing it again because I think it's so pretty. And to say this is one of the ones that still sort of carries on growing slightly throughout the winter because the South African succulents do sometimes carry on growing even in our winters and climate. And um, I do keep this one very slightly lightly watered. And as I say, isn't that just the most cutest, tiniest little flower, guys? And as I say, when it comes to a lot of the succulents, a lot of them do keep the majority of them here. As you can see, in the polytunnel, pretty much dry for the winter because our temperatures, they, they get through the winter far better if they're kept dry and cool, but obviously at a minimum of about 5 to 6 Celsius, which is probably about 40 to 41 degrees Fahrenheit. We never ever let it drop below that. And if it does, we have the little heater there that kicks on if it drops below that. So pretty much usually around the seven to eight degrees Celsius, just under 10 degrees Celsius most of the time. And they do well. As I see, there's the aloe vera garter in bloom there, but that's a separate video coming on. So um, if it's not on already, it will be on, <laughs> stay tuned. But um, we do keep some of the succulents that do want to still carry on growing, like some of the aloes and some of the aliums, a tiny, tiny bit of water, um, just enough to stop them from shriveling up. And as I say, isn't that just the most prettiest little golden flowers? They're like little tiny, uh, little yellow daisies. They're so cute. And it's just budded, been in bud all the time as well. So guys, thanks so much for watching. And I want to send you loads of love. Oh, if you want to know more about how to grow cacti and succulents, do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And if you go into the section where it's got growing tips, hover your mouse over that and there's a drop down bar. It goes into different sections on the correct lighting and how to part and the temperatures, the different types and everything. And I've got so much more I'm gonna be doing on the website and an ebook I've got planned as well. So stay tuned for that guys, lots planned for this year. And thanks again for all of your support. I don't wanna send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of flower and plant power. As always from across the Emerald Isle. Until the next video, bye.